Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the Elighten One. The Elighten One, a.k.a. God's Child, a.k.a. God's Child. Shout out to everyone out there worldwide, in the U.K. and the U.S.A., to the East Coast and the West Coast. Remember, my channel may be small, but the viewers are big. My channel may be small, but my viewers are big. Message. Oh, man. You know what? I want to say something to the ladies out there. Okay? And um, there are a lot of videos of Midtown. M-G-T-O-W, Midtown. Men go their own way. And good men have a right to go their own way. You know, I want to say something to the ladies out there that's watching and they can't understand why they don't have a man. They can't understand why they can't get dates. They can't understand why they can't get married, find a husband. And why they have a baby daddy or what a fuck boy. Okay. So let me tell you from a good man perspective, because I'm a good guy. See, first of all, ladies, some of your grandmothers, some of your aunties, some of your mothers lied to you. You, you were lied to. You was fed a bullshit fairy tale on how your life's supposed to be. So let me say something to these ladies out there. If, how can your grandmother auntie, mother, give you, tell you how to find a good man if they don't have a good man. See, most of you women was fed bullshit. Get a man with a good job, girl. He got to have a fancy car, girl. He got to be six feet tall, girl. He got to be this girl. But no one taught some of these women how to be independent. TLC came out with a song years ago, hurt a lot of men's feelings. I don't want no scrub. So a lot of you women out there passed off, passed over good men for fuck boys, got pregnant by a fuck boy. Got a child by the fuck boy. And so now you want a good man to clean up his mess. Now, for the women out there that single moms that's holding it down, my eyebrow kind of. For the single women out there, the single moms out there who holding it down, I'm not talking about you. This not retaining to you. So don't get offended. See, to the women out there that's holding it down, but don't sit there and say you don't need a man. If you have any children, it is a fact. It takes two in a household to raise a child. It's possible, but there's nothing like having a second parent. See, some of you women out there want to be the dictator. You want to be the boss. Can't nobody tell you nothing. See, Good men such as myself who have their own car, who work two jobs or a good job, very handsome, very good looking, good down in bed, have his own crib. Men like me can have, they have a lot of options. So ladies, you have to be equally yoked because men who have their stuff together, it's easy for me to say, you know what? I'm out. Why? Because out there nationwide, women outnumber men 20 to 1. 21. And ladies, understand this. A man have a right to date as many women as he wants because he's single. And now somebody need to hear this. Somebody need to hear this. Okay? If you don't have a man by now or someone in your life by now, 
Maybe it's you. I had hung up on many women because of their mouth in the dough. Now, I know you're saying I'm grown. I can say what I want to say, but if it's not working for you, try the opposite. See, a lot of good men are opting out of marriage. They are opting out of relationships because some women do not want to participate. They don't want to work together. It's like, you know, it's like his is mine and mine is mine. And that's not the way to be. So when some women get with a low life or a fuck boy and there are some women who choose as losers just to bitch at them. See, ladies, you can't bitch at a man that have his shit together. No. You know why? He'll look at you like, I'm out. I'm out. A man who has his stuff together is self-sufficient. And that's what women need to understand. See, ladies, you have to be equally yoked. If that man got a car, you got to have a car. If that man got a crib, you got to have a crib. If that man got good credit, you should have good credit. Everything he got, you have to match it or he have to match you. If if you have more than him, you're not equally yoked. You're not equally yoked. All right? And then... You choosing these loser men, okay? You would cheat on a provider for a bum. For a bum. You want your cake and eat it too. Now, don't get me wrong. There are men out there that will have a baby on a woman. He could be married to a woman and will have an outside baby. You don't have to accept that either. You don't have to accept that. It's all about what your worth is. I saw a lady at a store yesterday. Nice, thick, wasn't that hot in the face. See, I'm past that. See, once you get a certain age, you have to be past the outer appearance. It's all about what the inner appearance. As long as you got a nice shape and a booty, I'm good. I'm good. So, talking to this, this woman that worked at this particular store, and as I looked at a real good... You have to look at somebody real good. Here I am. I'm doing my thing. And I'm proud I'm doing my thing. I ain't going to be ashamed. I've been working two jobs. I'm doing pretty good for myself. You know, I'm doing okay. I'm not asking somebody for anything. I'm not homeless. Thank you. Praise, praise the almighty high. And I'm not trying to knock nobody that don't have a car or crib or a job. All I'm saying to you is you have to... Put yourself in a position to get those things. Maybe you have to go back to school. Maybe you have to work two jobs. But you can't get nothing sitting on your ass. So back to the lady at the store. After conversating with her, we not equally yoke. See, 20 years ago, I would smash smashed that chick. She'd be sitting on my couch with that fat booty, and I'd be smashing. But when you're older and you're more mature, I don't even want you in my house. Why? Because we're not equally yoked. I mean, I'm sure she don't have her own crib. I don't think she have a car. We're not equally yoked. So ladies, you have to understand something. Most problems you have with men is because of what you choose. Some of you ladies, I mean some, are so busy looking at this nigga. And I'm talking women of all, all color. You looking at this nigga because he's nice looking or uh, he, he dressed nice. But he's a low life. And because he looks good on your arm and you want the bragging points. You get you get messed over. So, ladies, you have to understand something about when you're meeting somebody, when you're dating somebody, they have to be on your level, on your page. There's no shame in that. Okay? 
This is why men are opting out of dating, marriage, and relationship because of the bullshit. You got women out there on dating sites only to get free food. Free food. You know what I'm saying? You meet a, you meet a woman nowadays, you got to buy her to eat. You got to take her to a fancy restaurant. Nobody wants to talk. Nobody wants to get to know each other. She got the bib up on her neck. She ready to eat. She ready to eat. Stop being like that. Because you because there's a lot of men out there who's single and loving it. Who live by themselves loving it. Who got money and loving it. Y'all better wake up. Somebody need to hear this. When you choose somebody, you have to choose someone on your level. You have to be equally yoked. Equally. Because if it's not a house divided, it won't stand. A house divided won't stand. Y'all got it? All right. Let's see a light one. I got to go. Peace and blessings to you all out there. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the bell button for more future videos. Go Bears. Uh, peace and blessings to everyone out there worldwide. If you think, uh, if you like my video, comment below. Peace and blessings to everyone. Have a great day.